is Rebel Life Shooter. I'm back at y'all with another video. Today we have another shotgun. This is a pump action shotgun. And I know y'all looking at the title probably already know what it is. But a lot of y'all that wasn't paying attention just saw a shotgun. You're gonna think this is a Mossberg. Well, almost, but not close, but not exactly. This is simply put, this is a Maverick model 88. Chambered in 12 gauge. I haven't done much to it. And I won't. I did I did one upgrade to it already. I did two. So let's talk about what I've done to the up before we jump into the gun. Let's just talk about the upgrades. Well, when I got it, you know, most of the, most some of them, they'll come with uh just a pistol, just a pistol grip. So it was just like it was like this when I got it. It was it wasn't anything there. It was just a pistol grip. Don't like that. I tossed it somewhere in my toolbox, and I replaced it with this ATI collapsible stock. And it also came with the shell holder right there, the the five shell holder that came with the stock. So it makes it much more shootable now. It has a front bead sight. This one here doesn't have all the bells and whistles like some of them. It has a front bead sight right there. And I painted it. I just put a little white dot, a little white nail polish at the end of it. It's a gold bead sight. Very light, man, compared to the fucking AK shotgun. Very light. Um, I believe this weighs like uh, probably about five, six pounds. As we already know, this is pretty much a Mossberg, but there's there's some differences. You know, a lot of people compare the 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 equal comparison to this gun would be the Mossberg 500 Persuader, because this is a 20 inch barrel model. This is a security model, so this is the full has the full tube lined up right with the barrel. So this whole seven plus one, which is seven. In the two, one in the chamber for a total of eight rounds. Fires three inch shot, uh, three inch shells, and also fires two inch shells as well. Uh, some differences, man. In case you guys are looking to buy one of these, I'm gonna run down some differences between this and the Mossberg 500, so you won't really get them confused. Um, there's a two hundred dollar difference. First of all, this gun cost me. Well, you know, it went up a little bit over the years. I used to own one. Back in 2009, when when I bought it back then, brand new, it was what? I think it was like 180 or something like that I paid for that. I paid like 185 for it brand new. Now, they went up quite a bit. And I bought it without, without, the, uh, without this attached to it. Out the door, brand new at the gun shop was 250. Paid like 250 for it, which was cool. No problem, because the older one that I had actually wasn't the full tube model. It was like, I think it only hold five or four, four or five plus one. I was lucky to find this one. I always wanted a full tube um, 12 gauge, and this was my first one. So that is one difference, the price. You're going to pay $200 less substantially than uh, you would pay for the Mossberg okay so that's that's one of the biggest differences another difference is um, the safeties as right here as you can see the safety on the Mossberg 500 would be right here if we had a Mossberg it's top tang safety right here it's a cross bolt safety that's that you find similar to a lot of other budget shotguns, cross bolt safety at the bottom here. A lot of people don't like the cross bolt. They say it feels it's it's too it's not comfortable enough when you want to put it on safe or you want to fire or you gotta use your other hand. Some people like the tank safety on the on the Mossberg, which I like too. It's it's pretty convenient. You just slide it back and forth. But in, in the thick of things, really don't make a difference to me. Um. Also, some other differences is the trigger. The trigger groups are not compatible, so you cannot drop your trigger group 
from the Mossberg into the Maverick and vice versa. It's not going to happen. And also on the Mossbergs, you get a, a swivel stud up at the front and the back um, when you have a full stock. On the uh, Maverick, you would get it on the back if this was like a... Um, if this was one of the models that came with a stock, because some of them come with a just a flat stock, just a butt stock in the back with no pistol grip, you would probably find a swivel stud somewhere in the back here. And also, the Model 88 Maverick is not drilled and tapped, so you can put on scopes and stuff like that. So there's none of that at the top here. None of that there. On the Mossberg 500, it is drilled and tapped for optics or pick rails or whatever you want to put at the top and another difference is it's a clear difference these action bars right here they're riveted right here they're riveted into the forearm on the maverick 88s it's not like that with the mossberg you don't see that there so that's one reason why you cannot interchange forearms between both of these guns. I'm pretty sure some people out there probably figured out how to do it, but you, you have to do a lot of different moderations and everything to make that happen. Uh, and another difference is this gun pretty much has Mexican parts. It's pretty much built or assembled in Mexico. The Mossberg 500 is all American. So those are really the subtle differences, man. Um, I have not fired her yet, but my original Maverick was great. Great, uh, decent recoil. Um, You know what I like about the Mossbergs and the Mavericks over like some of my other shotguns that I might have? That's pumps. This, I love this. This never slips out my hand. I love the, the, fore, the forearm is awesome. Never slips out my hand. When I'm firing it, some, when I fire some of my other shotguns that don't have this kind of forearm, doesn't have that, I can't get a good grip on it, especially when you start sweating. And I notice I try to rack it sometimes, my hand will slide off. Never has happened with me with Mavericks or Mossbergs. I love her. I will never sell this one again because it took me years to find another one or go even look for one because I was buying a whole bunch of other guns and I never looked at buying another uh, Maverick. But I am a, I'm a huge fan of pump shotguns. I, I, I just love them. I have quite a bit of them, um, but I love them. This one here, like I said, I'm not going to do much to it. I already did the, the upgrades I wanted to do to it, was put this stock on. It's beautiful, man. Very light and very reliable, man. Mossbergs. Some people can't afford $400, $500 for a Mossberg or like a Remington A70. And they want quality. And this gun has been proven reliable over the years. You shouldn't have any problems out of this gun. You can find the Mossberg Maverick 88 uh, security model or other ones at your local gun shop. You have plenty of these. <clears throat> you definitely find them at gun shows. And you definitely can find them online. Check out buzzgunshop.com. So you're going to pay uh low end you should probably pay you'll probably find these for maybe 230 that's probably the lowest you're gonna find them brand new high end you probably will see people pushing them out to maybe three maybe 320 330 that's a little high mid mid range you probably spend maybe 230 240 ish that's that's pretty cool because you know given that the gun prices have went up over the years through to this the, the scam damage or whatever you want to call it and all of the the the, the gun grabbers trying to do crazy stuff it's going to shoot up the prices a little bit but make sure y'all go look at this gun man you can find it you'll even find some of them that come like this already some will come with tactical stocks already attached to them this one didn't i went ahead and upgraded it and put it in my own stock you'll find some that it just has the pistol grip and you'll have others that have just a traditional butt stop 
you know, and then um, I I may have seen and, and I've seen some that came with flat dark earth colors. So you'll find a few different variations. I've never seen them really extreme, like you know, with tactical Picatinny rails, and I've never seen a Maverick like that. But they might have them stock like that. But I've never seen them like that. You'll find out on the Mossbergs though, but you're not gonna really find that on the uh on the Mavericks as much. But that is my review of the Maverick eighty eight. You guys go out there and get you a Maverick 88 12 gauge. Rather, it's the security. I would rather go for the security model because you get the full tube and it holds more for more devastating damage, baby. This is Rebel Life Shooter. Catch y'all the next one. And I'm out. Peace.